welcome back to part two of this video i'm so excited to play this again so basically we repaired the ship and i am now on a different planet i have harvested a whole bunch of resources however i might have forgot to record that so my bad um but not a big deal because we'll be doing a lot of stuff in this video and by a lot of stuff i mean there's a whole bunch that we need to do um and namely get copper we need to get copper because we have now unlocked the base computer and that allows us to build bases which is exactly what i am going to go straight into as fast as i possibly can um, because i am thinking of building crazy crazy stuff so yeah let's let's do this so all these planets give com uh, not completely but a lot of different resources and everything is completely different all the planets are different you might find them look similar but they'd be different in some fundamental level Ch like changes of weather uh, colors all kinds of things But it's so beautiful. I mean, look at this. I imagine like a planet was so close. And oh, there goes a shooting star. Ah, oh, look at that. Make a wish. Make a wish, guys. Make a wish. I know what I'm wishing for. To get to that copper quickly. I should have gotten that. Oh, that's going to hurt. Ow. I like to hurt myself in this game. <laughs> I want that. Wait, give me that. I'll get me there very quickly. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh yeah, look at that jump. That was a good jump. Oh jeez, that actually scared me a little. Oh, what is that? There is some kind of something there. Um, wait, where was the copper again? Why do I feel like I'm standing on it? What's that? That's ammonia. Yeah, that's ammonia. I think I'm standing on the copper. Yeah, I am. Okay. So, we have created a new tool for our gun which is the terrain manipulator it allows us to do exactly this destroy everything you can harvest the ground and you get a whole bunch of stuff in the ground and this is how we will get our copper so we just gotta find that copper so yeah here we go this is what the copper looks like let's, let's check was that copper? Should get me copper now. I just want to see how far this. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. There's that copper. So I'm gonna just get as much copper as possible. The copper is also again super useful um, for chromatic metals. The chromatic metals are not only very expensive uh, in the beginning, but You've got to like uh, um, use quite a bit of it for a whole bunch of things when it comes to base building. So yeah, we kind of need a lot of that. Is there? Is there? Does it show me that there's more? Let's see if there's more. Oh, I found copper. I hit copper. There we go. Yay, new milestone. I have traveled quite the distance now. We are gonna eat this mountain alive. And then we have 243 copper. I'm sure that's good enough. So let's get back to our ship. What is that? Cobalt deposit. Oh my soul, I need that. Um, okay. 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 So we need to build to do, uh, and the refiner is with us. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because we got a lot of uranium, um, I'm actually, you can call your ship to wherever you are, which is really nice. Why do I have to jump that high and not care about the fall? 
Um, so because our launch fuel is, is completely full, we can actually call our ship. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it here to this cobalt deposit because I really want it because of the value of it. Yeah, yeah, I know about my toxic protection. Don't you tell me how to live my life. I'm actually almost dying, so I should really listen. Okay, wait. Um, so, i got to cook this meat, but I can't yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat these grawberries. This should put my health. Yeah. Should put my health back, and then let's just fill our... As a protection, so to call your ship, you open up the menu, which is X on PC, um, and then you summon your vehicles. You can summon freighters, exocrafts, all that kind of thing, but we'll get into that later when we actually got them. So, just pop that there. Come to me. Fantastic. Okay, awesome. So I'm just going to harvest this. Wow, these things are really... Is it... What is that? Let's, let's take a look at our discovery. That is not what I just discovered. <laughs> it's like a flying lily pad. Hm. Weird for the jellyfish they're so cool though and when you scan these um, obviously you get money and the money will help you later on the animals give you more of the most so I would say it's like if you find animals just scan them uh, okay let's let's harvest oh no no I can't do that okay we first need to empty our slots here so what we're gonna do is we are actually going to put down the portable refiner. Um, not only am I, gonna, am I going to put it down, I think I might just make another one and refine a whole bunch of resources so that I've got a whole bunch of space. So we'll start with that and let's make another one. Fill that up, and what we're gonna do is, yeah, let's let's do this goo. This goo is a waste my waste my time, my space. Can this turn into anything? No. Can just eat it. That's fine. We'll turn this into carbon. This all our gamma root. It's fine. We don't need it. Okay. Okay, so there is this building right over here, which we can land by. There is, uh, what is, there was that communications tower, I think, or it's a settlement, I've actually no idea, there's also a green landing spot. I'm gonna land here first, see what's here real quick, and we just land. There we go. Come on here. <laughs> okay, cool. So I just want to see what's what's actually here. Like, what can I do here? I need navigation. Okay. Cool. I'm not really sure what this place is. Oh crap. structure okay it's a planetary archive awesome so we might just be able to do something useful here we can purchase blueprints or components let's take a look at the components they have got drop pod coordinate data this can be super useful this is actually what we want for the reason of we can find broken ships and sell them for lots of money. Here's a wiring loom, that thing that we needed. But we obviously need to sell some things first as we have no money. But we have a lot of things that we can sell, which is fantastic. Starting with salt, I'm going to say 
I'm gonna sell all my salt. Um, there you go. I'm gonna sell all that salt. Um, and we have got. Let's take a look here. Ammonia. The demand is low, so you don't get your money's worth, which is bad. Um, okay, well, how much money? We got 44,000, isn't it? We don't have enough for one of these wiring looms. Wait, what do we need the wiring loom for? So let's just, let's just recap here. Let's just recap. The wiring loom we needed for the technology on our, on our multi-tool for the personal force field. Is that needed though? Maybe not. Yes, fault archive. Okay, so if you got something rare, you can submit it into this thing. That's cool. What do we have here? Some local information. Welcome visitor. Print chart for 15 nanites. Hmm. I would like a chart please for 15 nanites. We got a planetary chart for 15 nanites. So what does this give us? An ancient rune site? Okay, that's cool, but not actually what I want. Um, what I actually do want to do or get would be a... Um, it's a different kind of chart. I'm just trying to think of the name now. Good day, sir. Can I sell, I mean, buy a chart from you? Do you like that you had a, you show no interest in me? Thank you, sir. Have a not so nice day. That's, that's nice. I would request some dialect help, please. I would like to know the stuff about trading. Thank you. And can I ask you, sir? Do you mind helping me with some trading too? Do you know how to trade? Have you heard of Bitcoin? No? Uh oh, wait a Okay. Okay, he's, he's, he's heard of nanites. He doesn't know Bitcoin, but he knows nanites. That's cool. It's cool, bro. I guess you're living in another time. What can I say? I'm gonna request dialect help from all you people. Maybe technology. Yeah, I can do some of that. The more words you learn, the more you will become in a relationship with their kind which will help you maybe actually get something from a person like this guy over here but he doesn't trust you so we can't and here we have a galactic space terminal which is awesome it's like the international market which is where you can buy and sell your stuff the ionized cobalt is in a in a dem uh, demand of Oh, iron ice cobalt was the very, very expensive, so we can, yeah, okay, I see. So, let's see, let's sell, let's sell pretty much what we've all found. I don't think we really have much use for, for anything right now of, of this stuff. Oh, is that ammonia? 2000, though. Um... So suit can oh uh, yeah we go starship. Okay. I mean we can sell this for 170,000 so let's see. If I sell that for 170,000, right? I can't buy it back because I can crash the market enough. 260. I need 30 more thousand to buy all my cobalt back. So there's a way to crash this this system, but I can actually buy it all back, which would be dumb because then I'd lose all my money. But it, yeah. It's okay, so you want to do this in a system that's got the demand, but it's positive, but I'm doing it for the sake of just getting some money. Um, I don't need the cobalt because we are 
on a cobalt planet, so it's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna go find a place to sort our first establishment on this planet. Um, I want to see what blueprints do you have. Teleport receiver, advanced mining laser. This would be super useful. We would need two of those wiring looms, one of those seals. Damn, that'd be super cool to get, but I don't think we can do this right now. Okay, so oh, also you can trade with these people. So come to me, sir. I would like to talk to you. I'm a money maker. Yes, I'd like to talk. Can we do some trading? Do you know anything about forex? Come here, Mr. Merchant. Why does? Okay, can you go away so I can talk to this guy? Thanks. Cool. Sell items, buy items. What do you have to buy? A Corvax casing. This and that. He's got tritanium. Fungal mold. This and that. What can I sell to you? What would you like to buy from me? Absolutely nothing. Would you like a planetary chart? <laughs> nope. Okay. What kind of. This is a C class. A C class freighter. Let's get on my ship now. That did not work, but okay. Okay, so we've been here, done that. So then there was that other place. So let's go to the other place and hopefully not die. Okay. There was a few places in the nearby. We repaired our ship. We basically flew into space. And we got a distress signal that took us to this planet. Unsure why. And I am in the middle of danger. So these things are sentinels. They are dangerous. Now I need to try and figure out a way to get in there. Without them hurting me, but I gotta break the door open. I can't do that, can I? I need an actual gun. So, can we can we make a gun? Will you allow me to make a gun? Uh, I need a hundred. Are you okay? We can actually make this. So, we need more of that metal. Let's put down one of our refiners real quick. Copper, Mr. Copper. Mr. Copper. Harry Copper. Uh, that's not copper, but sure. Okay. I needed a hundred, I had sixty, so I need forty. So I'm gonna need more copper actually. Because now I don't even have enough to base my base computer you know okay just make the rest while I install a gun and I know I had ammunition do I have ammunition I know I have yeah 37 rounds of ammunition cool put that in there and let's put that in there the reason why I'm not using the shot, but we'll get on that later. Okay, I'm ready. It's time to go 
in and I have a weapon and I just wasted a bullet. Reload. Okay. So we need to get in there. Need to get in there. The e easiest way to do this is actually to be in your starship, which I never thought about, and just shoot with your ship. But I'm in, and I'm good, and I'm totally safe. They they can see me. They they can come in here now. They they couldn't before. I just hope they don't shoot me because I need to answer this. So it'll give you a riddle. Alarms blue sounding out against my intrusion in the facility or remote yard. No one responds to the call. In case I'm undertaking a special piece of research. Uh, da, 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 uh, uh huh. Don't know what that meant, but sure. Okay, continue experiment, in experiment, or insert carbon. So, we need to know what to do. In the experiment, please. Learn new recipe, create multi tool expansion. Hmm. So useful. I say, let's learn a new recipe. Oh my word, look at this. So this is then how we get to learn um, how to create things now. What I'm going to probably learn first would probably be that microprocessor. However, this Atlas Pass is going to help us with a lot. And we've got other stuff like valuable products as well which is uh, yeah going a different route there let's see which one shall we do yeah I think I'm gonna go with this cool so we need to make one of those passes which I did not look requires the microprocessor Fun times. <laughs> ah, my goodness. I should have learned that one, hey. But luckily, there's this all over the place. So, it's fine. Sure, I'd like to save. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh. Okay, fly, 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 fly. So what we are gonna do is let's actually go discover our whole system. Let's go into the stars, guys. The beautiful, beautiful stars. Check this out. Oh man, that is so, so cool. That's a nice blue planet right there. Look at that nice blue planet. I pressed C to scan you. A Xeno colony. A Xeno colony. Do I even know what that means? There's an unknown planet as well. Didn't I just come from this damn thing? Nope, I did not. Copper, gold, and silver. Pillared planet. I came from this moon. That's where I came from. Okay. So, wow. This is interesting. I want to go there. So, for in order me to go there, um, I need a. Uh, huh. Yeah, I need to get to the other side.
it's got a cool purple ring to it. And in we go. What is this? This looks interesting. Is it an island? Yeah, it's an island. Live on an island. We are entering Ugar. At least we have really nice blue waters. So, in terms of these planets. That's Homeworld, which is a super critical planet. That's the... Okay. Yeah, I, I mapped because I haven't been there. Right. Um, you know what? Let's go to... We'll just go to all of them. Looks so nice on my. Why do I keep going into this thing? Hmm. Forsaken. Maybe it's just best to live on a moon. I'm telling you, the moons are nice. Here's, a, here's the unknown moon. A desert moon. Let's go to the desert moon. hit the ground I actually saw that hit the ground holy crap that was pretty cool okay the thing that I like about the moons is that they are a lot smaller easier to harvest resources you know that kind of thing these huge mountains so let's see is there anything nearby okay so let's use let's use this ancient rune site just right here so you can use these on any planet um, all the charts obviously are, you can use on any planet so I'm doing it here because that just makes getting anywhere quicker get outside the atmosphere a little. Uh, is 
it on the opposite side of the world. Boost. Not that far. Come on, man. Ah, there you go. Right by it. Okay, we found an ancient rune. So now we have landed on the new planet that is known as this one. So we are right on the other moon. Okay, awesome. There's a whole bunch going on here. Gravitino balls. Let's take a look at that. Mm, look at that scary looking thing. I don't even want to know. What I do know, however, is those gravitino balls are quite worth a lot of money. Got an ancient key. Awesome. So what kind of key did I just receive? It's a timeless artifact. Nice. Cool. Okay, so this thing really wants us to place the base computer, which I think I'm gonna go back to my home planet where Mr. Little Turtle is on. We'll place it there. Um, what are those things? Oh, damn, that is. Good parent. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Gravitino ball. But now it's time to run because once you grab these things, the sentinels are on you, which are the little robot guys that are just everywhere. So it's time to get out of here. Okay, awesome. So what we are going to do ships approaching. Oh boy. Can you 
you not overheat right now? Space combat. New guide to space combat. Okay, what is this planet like? Because it doesn't look all that gr great. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Look at this place. Well, I'm gonna have to land, so let's just land. Land something. Flying too fast to land. Okay, so they're not lying there. <laughs> oh, I can see why this is all metal, kind of planet like. Which, I must say, is pretty cool. Jeez. Everything looks like. Glitching separator. I have no idea what this does. Uh -huh. Safe for rehousing. Rehousing inhabitable places. Guys, this is something I've never seen before. What? It's a rock monster. Ooh, I made it angry. But killed it. My bad little dude. You just really scare me. He looks like a piece of chalk metal coming at me. This is a very, very cool planet. However, I feel like I should go back to my original planet to build my space computer thingy. So what's around here? Yes, silver, 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 copper. Let's go down here! I know, I know. You don't need to remind me. I just want to... I should use the other thing. Let's just see what's down here.
right, let's get out of here. If I could. This is one very, very interesting planet. All right, on the last planet. Last planet of the system. Forsaken, meaning there's nothing on it, this planet, okay. So we want to go and live on, I mean, you got a desert. Probably gonna say one we started on is definitely the one to go to for the system. Um, where am I now again? The rings, right? The rings, the rings. I'm about the rings. I need to get to that planet. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is that one over there? <laughs> Time to go. Pulse engines are running low. Should also stop and collect some more titanium and gold, silver, all that good stuff. mistaken it's behind it yeah it's behind it so that's why we can't see the thing Site. What appears to be a crash freighter site. Yeah, it's a crash freighter site. As far as I know, there's usually a landing spot here. So we can actually land here. Yeah. And we can discover. We can discover a whole bunch of things here. Um, the only thing that I am going to do... I've still got my... Oh, okay. Okay, great. 
base computer. I wonder if I should just build my base right by this thing. Basically turn this into my base. I mean, why not, right? Hey, Mr. Terminal. I would like to read your log, please. Guys, we did our first habit. Oh, we can turn it now into a habitable base, and I'm gonna do it right here by this freighter. Come on. Do, do, do. And we will claim this spot as ours. Awesome, our base computer is online. Need oxygen. Okay. So now, we need to look at our base computer. Yes, I would like to extract these plants. Timber stuff? Well, that's new make timber things. Interesting. Okay, so we need to build a shelter and basically building a shelter for us is going to be very easy because we are right, well we've got most of our sh I'm going to just like close this up and shelter right here. I mean that shelter, yeah look here, shelter enough. Um, so yeah, I think I think I'll be doing that. What does it cost? Okay, so it uses carbon. Okay, cool. Okay, so we've unlocked the next set. So building materials. We've got a flora containment which allows us to put stuff in. A standing light, a flag. And we've got this glitched separator which acts as a planetary... Oh, okay, exotic decorations. That is very, very cool. Um, so what I'm going to do, let's start with a f Do we need a floor here? No. Let's start with a roof. Can I build a roof? Okay, let's start with the floor then. So what I'm actually going to do... like that. Um, and then we will be able to place our roof. Here comes our weather. Our weather. I. This happens when you build a base. <laughs> you will get bad weather. But luckily, we will close ourselves in. I should probably not even have done it this big. Just just yet, but that's fine. Um, what is this? It's a, a diff oh, it's an extruded wall. Extruded wall! Build extruded wall, please. Oh, damn. Um, Ah, uh, goodness. I'm 
I'm gonna have to break this because that was a mistake. Um, the wall. I would like to pick this up, please. Um, toggle the wall. Oh, there we go. storm okay I'm safe now How do we use these things? Can you just plop them anywhere? I'm assuming so. Okay, our storm is clearing. some pure ferrite for ourselves. We have a ton of ferrite dust. should be good we'll leave that in there uh, let's take a look at our roof how does our roof look pretty strange actually I think I'm rather gonna go with the flat one Well, we have the first piece of our base built. Okay, so we are gonna need a 
whole bunch of carbon. Okay, well, we got our base computer, and that was the whole mission. Extract the plans, please. We need pure ferrite. Construction unit requires magnetized ferrite. Oh, a con um, construction unit. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. We've got the new plans for the construction unit, which allows the user to convert old damaged technology modules into advanced construction blueprints. Well, that's nice. We need magnetized ferrite for that. Um, I should just pick up this thing and. Let's pick it up. Come here. Stand in our little whatever this is. Okay, cool. So, we're going to put that right here. And we are going to turn our pure ferrite. I can turn this into something. No. Pure ferrite. Pure, pure, pure ferrite into magnetized ferrite. And we need only 20. Okay, we have discovered how to make the construction module. So let's just place this, make it a, a color scheme. Fantastic. Construction research unit is awesome. So now we know how to make the base teleporter, meaning that if we make another um, base computer to make another base and we've got this with power, obviously, then we will be able to teleport and here are how to unlock all the other stuff. So I see this has got a lot of new features, timber stone alloy they have changed quite a bit which is absolutely awesome okay so i think this is where we'll end it for part two got a same not a base at all but need definite resources for this we can now discover and explore the planets and get all kinds of resources which is exactly what I'll be doing and then from there what we are going to do is we are going to um, go to the space station and show you what the space station and all that's about so right now it's just saying you need to find the, like berry technologies go find yourself a berry technology go discover things so that is exactly what I'm going to be doing and in the next video we'll get to the next part which is um, well it's actually saying use the advisor to get the, the berry technology which I'll do um, but we'll, we'll get to that next one but anyway have a great one guys see you next time